Hello friends, welcome to tutorials point. In this tutorial, we will discuss import and export option in SAP HANA. So, we can use the import and export option e from either the file menu where we have the import and export option or we can use the SAP HANA modular view. So, to open this, we can go to the window, we can go to the perspective and if we go to the open perspective, we have the SAP HANA modular perspective. So this is how we can go to this import and export option. So first of all, let's discuss about the export option. So if we click on this export option, so under the SAP HANA content, we have four different options. That is the change and transport system. After that, we have the delivery unit. Then we have the developer mode and then we have the SAP support mode. So first of all, let's discuss about the change and transport system. So we can use this option to export the HANA repository content object using the change and transport system capabilities which are integrated with HANA application lifecycle. So it is mainly used by the change and transport management team they, uh, which they can use with the help of HANA application lifecycle. After that, we have the delivery unit. So we can use this option to export all the packages that make up a delivery unit and the relevant objects contained therein to the client or to the SAP HANA server. So the delivery unit, it is a single unit which can be, mani which can be managed using the multiple packages and can be exported as a single entity so that all the packages assigned to the delivery unit can be treated as a single unit. So, the best part of the delivery unit is that we can map multiple packages to it. So, users, they can use this option to export all the packages that make a delivery unit and the relevant objects contained into a HANA server or to the local client location. Delivery unit should be, treat, should be created by the user prior to the use of it. So, if we want to export the delivery unit or import the delivery unit so if in case of import we have to first create the delivery unit and then we can import it then the delivery unit should be created basically by the user prior to the use so this can be done through the SP HANA modeler and we have the option of creating the delivery unit so from there we can do that after that, once the delivery unit is created and the packages are assigned to it, we can import or export it. So let's say if we select the delivery unit, we'll go to next and we will select the system and then we'll go to next again. So here, first of all, it will ask us to select the delivery unit which we want to export. So we go to the drop down and then we can choose the delivery unit which we have in our local system. So let's say if I want to use the delivery unit which is this one. So it will show me all the different packages which are contained in this particular delivery unit and we can consider the released versions as well. So we can see all the list of packages which are inside it. After that we have the option of after that we have this option of filtered by time. So if we want to use this filtered by time option it means that we can choose the changes which are done under a particular unit of time. So here we if we go to the drop down if we select this and if we go to the drop down we have the intervals like last week, last month, time range. So we can select the changes which we want to export so once done after that we will click on we have the option of export to server and export to client so basically we can either export this delivery unit to another HANA system or we can use this to export to the client that means our local machine so this filter by time option will help us to uh, which means that the information views which are updated within the mentioned time interval will only be exported. That I have just shown it to you. 
like we can select last week last month time range so we will select export to client so if we select export to client here it will ask for the location like where we we have to export it so let's say if i want to export it on my desktop i'll make a new folder and i will give the name as delivery unit after that we can click on okay and we will go to next and then it will show us the file name file path after that we can click on finish so once it is finished we can go to the system here and we can double click it and we can see that we have this exported delivery unit into the client machine so this is how we can export the packages using the delivery unit similarly if we go to export again so second option is developer mode so this option can be used to export the individual objects to a location in the local system so user can select the single information view or the groups of views and packages and select the local client location for export and finish it so here the difference between the delivery unit and the developer mode is that in delivery unit we cannot select the individual objects we have to select the complete packages for the de developer mode we can select the single views as well so let's say if i click on next if i select the system and click on next it will show us the content folder and here in the content folder we can select even a single view and then we can click on add after that it will ask for the export location so here we can see that we do not have any export to server we only have export to client so if we click on the browse if you go to the desktop if you make the new folder here and we can click on okay and we can click on finish so now we can go here and if we go to the this one so we can see here that this analytic view is exported to this particular file so this is how we can use the developer mode option after that again if i go to the export so the last option is the sap support mode so this can be used to export the objects along with the data for sap support purposes so this can be used when requested for example let's say the user creates an information view which throws an error and he couldn't able to resolve in that case he can use this option to export the view along with the data and share it with the sap for debugging purpose so sometimes when we are not able to when we are not able to resolve any issue so in that case we have to choose the option of sap support mode which will export my view with data which we can send to sap with so that they can help us in resolving the option after that we can click on next similarly we can select the system and here in again we can select the view where we are facing the issue we can click on add we can click on again in this we have option of export to server and export to client so let's say if i want to export to client i will select the location so again let's say we create the new folder and we click on okay after that we have to give the file name so let's say if we give the file name as sap support and we will click on finish so if we go to the new folder 5 here so we have this winrar file the file wherein we have all the a uh, content of the analytic view which we have selected with its data and we can send this zip file to the sap support so that they can look into the issue from here after that we have the import option 
So we have just seen all the export option and now we have the import option. So if you go to the import, so in the import option also under the SAP HANA content we have all these different options available to us. So first of all we have the data from the local file. Data from the local file means that we, if we have the data in the TXT, CSV format, so we can or the XML format we can simply select the data from the local file. Like it will allow us to import the data from CSV, Excel, Excel S, Excel SX. So we can import the data from here. After that we have the delivery unit. So my uh, this option it will help us to import the objects which are available at the server or the client location in the form of my .tgz file which is my delivery unit extension. So we can select the delivery unit by going to the file import delivery unit and we can select it. So let's say if I go to next so here it is asking like uh, whether we want to select the file from the server or from the client. So let's say if I want to select it from the client, we can go to browse, we can go to the desktop and here we can select this delivery unit which is my .tgz file. It will show us the different options which are available here. So we can select this overwrite inactive versions which allow us if there are any inactive version of the objects exist those will be overwritten. So after that we have the option of activate objects. So if the user select the activate object then after the import all the imported objects will be activated by default. The user no longer need to trigger the activation manually for the imported views. So this is my activate mode we can select it from the drop down we have three different options here activate and ignore the inconsistencies in the imported objects and in their affected objects after that we have stop the activation in case of inconsistencies in affected objects and then we have the activate and ignore the inconsistencies in the affected objects so we can select any of these option as per the requirement and then we can click on finish so once we will click on finish so my all the contents of that file will be imported into the system after that again we will go to import then the next option is the developer mode so we can in this developer mode we can browse the local client location where the views are exported and we can select the views to be imported the user can select individual views or the group of views and the packages and after that we can bring all those into the system so click on next select the HANA system and here we have to select the folder from where we want to bring in the data so let's say if I go here and we can select this analytic view which we want to bring in just a minute so we can select the file which we want to import we'll go here we'll select this one and click on OK so we can see the package and then we can see the view inside it so we can just simply select the package click on add and after that we have this option of overwrite the existing objects so if we right click this sorry if we check this it means that the existing objects will be overwritten otherwise it will not overwrite and then we can click on finish so this is how we can import using the developer mode after that again go to the import then we have this option of mass import of metadata. So mass import of data metadata is to import all the table definitions from SAP ERP source system using SAP load controller into SAP HANA database. 
so uh, for this as well we can just simply select the mass import of metadata after that we can go next we can select the system we can click on next and here we have to add the details of the system but we do not have any ABAP system configured here for the mass import so it will not allow us but in projects generally if we have the SAP ERP system configured it will take up the details of that particular system and it will import all the table definition from the ERP source so this is how we can use the mass import of metadata option in the import wizard similarly we have the option of sample applications so sample applications means if we want to import the sample applications into SAP HANA we can use this option and then we have the SAP NetWeaver BW models so we can import the objects available in SAP NetWeaver BW system and we can transform them into SAP HANA modeling views and then we have the selective import of metadata which means that it will allow to import selected table definitions from SAP ERP source system using the SAP business objects data services into my SAP HANA system. So this is how we can use the import and export options.